morning, welcome back to the vlog. That's always so hard to say first thing in the morning. Welcome back to the vlog. But I'm just heading out this morning for a quick pre-breakfast early morning ride. So I'm gonna be out for like 20, 30, maybe 40 minutes. Hence why I've just got this hoodie on. I'm going all uh, Lachlan Morton style on you. Because the bulk of my training is gonna be coming uh, this afternoon and this evening when we've got our local uh, chain gang. But I thought the weather's that nice this morning. Why not ride? It's, it's, it's a crime not to ride and it's gonna be it's gonna be 20 degrees Celsius today. 20, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so I've just ridden past the house and I think I've just seen a peacock. I think I've just seen a peacock on someone's drive. Yep, that's a peacock, all right. A peacock? I thought they only, uh, I don't even know. Here in the UK we spend about eight months of every year riding in full winter kit in the cold and the rain and the wet and some days it just doesn't feel like it's gonna get any nicer it's never like it, it feels like summer's never gonna come and eventually eventually it does come and riding is just so much more enjoyable all right 30 minutes that'll do I'm hungry now dog ah there we go what are you barking at who are you barking at? Hey. <laughs> surprise, surprise, Sam's doing weird noises again. So I've just got home from training and Lexi is, is limping. Are you limping? What's up? Oh, she's literally just stopped. You were just limping a minute ago. Okay, well it looks like her leg's better. I genuinely just came back and she she wasn't walking on it. Let me have a look, let me have a look at it. Come here Lex, let's see if there's anything in it. Come here, sit. It looks all right to me Lex. Why were you limping before and now you've just stopped? Hey? Hey, come on. All right, so I hate, I hate having a messy office and um, the last few days I've, I've kind of let it slip in here. All this on the table, particularly at the back of the room, we've just got like all the stuff that I don't really use. I just stick it, stick it at the back of the room here. But it's all started to clutter. I've got boxes, cables, water bottles, weights, cranks, just a whole lot of mess to be honest. So I'm gonna give this whole room a tidy now. All right, let's do this. Okay, it's clean again. It's clean again. I just need to figure out some way to get all of this like black stuff off the wall. It's from it's from the sound tiles because I used a, a spray glue to stick them to the wall, and then I decided that I didn't want them there. I thought they looked a little bit tacky. I took them off, obviously because where, where the glue was attached, it's left all of these little black bits, which does eventually come off if you just like rub it, but it takes forever. Now, I've left, I've left this painting, or this drawing, sorry, it's not painting, is it? Um, I've left it down for a reason, because I've got, I've got a little idea. So currently, so currently in this frame, I've got the Peter Sagan drawing that, that PTW Art sent me like a few months ago now. I'm gonna put this drawing to one side somewhere. Now, I've just got an empty picture frame. And what I plan to do is, actually, let me show you what I'm gonna do. I need to go, I need to go and pick up a few bits. All right, quick story whilst I'm upstairs and I've got this in my hand. For Christmas, Georgia got me uh, a flying experience. So I went and had like a 20 or 30 minute lesson of, of flying, flying a two-seater plane. It was a Cessna 152, but for Christmas, she got me this like little toy from, from Hanley's and she made it seem like this was the present, just a, a toy a toy plane. But it was actually just like a jokey present before she gave me the main present, but I had no idea she was doing this, so I actually thought this was, this was my present. <laughs> I think, uh, I think a print stick is all I need. Though I haven't used one since like high school, maybe even primary school, no high school. So I've forgotten how strong print stick glue is. It should be all right though. I think it'll be all right.
Okay, here is the plan. I'm simply going to print stick all of my race numbers onto this piece of cardboard, put it back into the photo frame, and then hang it up on the wall there as like a picture frame. But it'll be a picture frame that I made with, with a little bit of a difference. I'm unleashing my, uh, my inner artist. I'm not an artist. All right, do you kind of see, do you kind of see where I'm going with this? I'm going to cover the whole thing with race numbers and I think it would just be a nice cool feature of the wall. I hope you agree. But currently I can only find one, four numbers, four race numbers. Now I do have a whole pile of them somewhere. I just don't know where, where they are, or where I've put them. Actually, that's just given me, that's just given me an idea. If you've got any race numbers that you don't want anymore, you don't need, you would like me to put on this, uh, put on this canvas on, onto my wall in my office. Send me a message on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, send me an email. I would love to get as many race numbers as possible to just plaster that whole picture frame. That would be cool. Okay, so normally, normally as you know now if you follow the vlog, on Thursday evenings I will do um, the local crit race at Preston Preston Arena. However, tonight I just fancied doing the chain gang for a change simple as that. I've done the crit for like the last three, maybe four weeks. I think it's three weeks. It starts at half past six, it's currently half past five. I'm gonna head out now for an hour before the chain gang starts. And it is so, so warm this evening. I'm in a short sleeve jersey. And no leg warmers. Just heading out now for the chain gang and uh, the one that I do, our local one, is a pretty good one to be honest as, as far as chain gangs go. We do 20 miles in 45 minutes so it's a fast, it's a hard, but it's a good amount of training in 45 minutes. And about halfway around there's a climb and there's always, there's always a race to the top of this climb. I'm always involved. I mean of course it would be rude not to. And then at the end of the chain gang there's a, a, a sprint for the 30s sign. Chain gangs are a great way to mix up training, just to make things a little bit more interesting. And they're always a good solid workout. I didn't sprint at the end of the chain today. I did about 18 miles before I pulled off because I've just noticed that I've got a puncher. Luckily, where we currently are is near my house. So I'm hoping that I can get home just in time before it, uh, before it goes completely flat and I need to change it. So I've got about two miles to go. I'm just smashing it home, hoping that I get home in time. But that's gonna be the end of today's vlog. Heading over to the tour series round in Northwich tomorrow with Georgia. Looking forward to that. But until then guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Made it home, just.